Hello everybody, today I'm doing another toy video and this time we're going to be focusing on the Triceratops. I know I mostly focus on, you know, the carnivores like the raptors. I did the Spinosaurus last time, but I figured this time we would show a little bit of attention to the herbivores. So in this video we're going to be going over all the different Triceratops figures that have been released across all the different Jurassic Park and Jurassic World lines. and. As always, we're going to be focusing, you know, just on the main, like, action figures. I know there have been, like, some puppets and some remote-controlled type dinosaurs, but I'm not going to include any of those ones. So we're going to go just straight in order from the ones that were released first, and then, of course, the ones that were released um, just recently. And up first is probably my personal favorite, um, Triceratops, and also one of my favorite uh, Kenner figures as well, and that's the Triceratops from the first Jurassic Park line. Um, you know, I always just have a soft spot for the real feel figures. I love the way they look. I love the attention to detail in the skin. I love the texture. Um, and just the design in this one is really great. I know some people have, uh, argued that this one isn't accurate, like, as far as its size or maybe its stature or legs or something isn't quite right or the length of it. I don't know exactly, but I really don't have any complaints about this one. You know, it doesn't have any articulation except for the uh, little movement here when you squeeze its ribs. It kind of like does a bucking action, but that's all you really get out of this one. And, you know, I'm actually fine with that. I think it's a great display piece. Like many of the early figures, it does have a dino damage piece right here. Since I bought this one online, used, it was missing, but maybe I'll find, you know, a spare piece one day, but yeah, out of all the ones that I'm going to show you guys today, this one is by far my favorite, and I'm not saying it's perfect or flawless, but just overall, I really like it, and maybe I'm a bit biased because I like the Kenner stuff a lot, but, you know, it's just my opinion, although there are a lot of other great ones that I'm about to show you. So the next Triceratops figure we have here was originally released during the 1997 Lost World line, although this isn't the original color. This one had about three to four different repaints over the years, and uh, this one was actually a repackaged one for the Jurassic Park 3 line. It was part of an exclusive multi-pack that came with a raptor and also like a dino tracker human figure. So this is the original one, but it is the original, you know, mold, sc sculpt, the same exact figure, just a different color. Um, but I'll go ahead, like I usually do, and put some pictures on the screen so you can see the other versions that exist out there. Now right off the bat, you're going to notice this one is very, very small compared to the first one I showed. I'll go ahead and do a little side-by-side -side comparison right here. As you can see, this thing looks like a runt, or, you know, pretty much like this thing's baby. And uh, I'll also use the three and three quarters human figure here just to give you guys a general idea of the different um, sizes of these dinosaurs. As you can see, this one just looks mammoth compared to uh, you know this scale figure. It's a little better when you use like the original. Uh, I think they're the four inch. I think these ones are. It looks a little better in that scale, but quite a big difference when you're using the uh, more recent figures and their scaling. Um, it does have this little action feature here where you pull back on its leg. And you know, that's pretty cool. But uh, just overall, this one's not one of my favorites, but um, I'm not hating on it or anything. I am happy to have it, but when you have one like this that's just so much more detailed and so much more fun to look at and play with, um, this one really doesn't compare all that well to it. Now I know this one was a, a prototype figure that was never officially released, but um, I wanted to include it anyway because it's actually a really, really cool figure and I'm quite disappointed that it never did see a release date because this one looks like it might have been my favorite had it actually been released and uh, several of these things have actually popped up over the years. There was one I read that sold on eBay for around $700 but that was back in the early 2000s and then um, if you've ever watched the TV show I believe it's called the Toy Hunter or Toy Hunter, something along those lines. Um, in one episode, they actually featured two of these things. Uh, you know, the lead guy that hosts the show, he actually finds two of them in, I think, someone's attic and ends up selling them 
as part of a lot of uh, Jurassic Park prototype figures to these guys for about $7,000. And that's quite a lot of money, but considering how few of these things are known to actually exist, I have to say that's pretty small price to have something so valuable and rare. It's really a shame that this one wasn't released because as you can see just by the few pictures here it does look really cool and like a really nice figure and I can't imagine why they would have decided you know not to release this one. Alright so next up is the Triceratops from Jurassic Park 3 part of the React Attack figures which all feature this battle damage you know and the sound effects and all that stuff and or it's sort of a gimmicky thing but um I, I don't really like how, you know, the battle damage is permanent like that. I much prefer the figures like this one, even though I'm missing the piece. You know, originally there was a um, piece that could cover that wound right there in case you didn't want it to have, you know, the flesh wound showing. But um, I would say this is an improvement over the uh, Lost World figure right here. Uh, the horns, you know, seem a little bit more accurate and longer. I don't like these little stubby horns that this one has. It just doesn't really do it for me. Um, the color is not bad. It's kind of like a neutral color, nothing too crazy. You know, it's not that bad of representation. I think it should maybe be just a tad bigger. But as you remember with all the React Attack figures, they didn't really bother to scale any of them. They were all like the same size practically, except for a few of them. Which, but yeah, overall, not a bad figure. Just uh, I don't like the battle damage. I think it's just a little bit too small. And. Um, you know, that's about it. Not a whole lot of complaints towards this one. Alright, so now we're moving on to the Fallen Kingdom figures, and of course these were just released recently. This one right here is part of the Walmart exclusive Battle Damage line. Um, this one reminds me a lot of the second figure I showed, this one. Um, it's even shorter than that one, which, you know, as I said with the other figure, I don't like how small it is. This, I mean. It's great if you want to uh, use this one as like a baby or, you know, a really young Triceratops. It's perfect for that, but... So the pose on this figure, it's not too bad. It kind of looks like it's grazing or like eating, you know, grass or something like that. It's got its head really low to the ground. You can even move it a little bit. Not a whole lot of posability, but, um, you know, there is some there. Although it kind of looks strange if you move it in any other pose because it just, the way that it's designed doesn't really um, work like that, you know. The only way that actually looks natural and realistic is if you keep it like this. Um, but aside from that, no electronics or anything, but it does have this battle damage effect where you uh, sort of like touch this area and it flips down and then it looks like a fleshy wound. Uh, I think, you know, if they're going to insist on going with the battle damage figures, making it like this is quite better than having the permanent damage like you see right here on a lot of the Jurassic Park 3 figures. Um, I'm still not really a fan of how there is this little like knob looking thing there but it's still better than having the permanent damage in case you don't want that to show you know when you're displaying it or whatever. It's nice to be able to cover it up but um, like I said it makes great if you want to make like a diorama or something and you want to have like little baby triceratops following the bigger one. You know it looks perfect for that but on its own as you know, a Triceratops adult, it just really doesn't work and uh, it's just too small. And that's really my biggest gripe with this one. And finally we have the Fallen Kingdom Roarivore Triceratops. For a lot of people, this is their favorite. They've argued it's even better than the Kenner one. I'm not so sure, you know. I don't know, it's kind of a tie for me because I think they both have uh, different qualities that make them better but not necessarily better than each other just be better in their own ways um, you know this one is probably a better scale although I feel like the one from Jurassic Park 1 the first film was slightly bigger than this you know I remember the scene was laying on its side and uh, Grant's kind of like leaning against it um, I mean that looks pretty close but I just seem to remember the Triceratops being slightly bigger but maybe not so much this big so it's hard for me to say, you know, the scaling on these figures is 100% perfect because I really don't think it is, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Um, but anyways, you know, getting back to this one, it does have some um, electronics and sounds by pushing right here. 
I think it makes about three to five different sounds. Um, and you know, this one actually does have articulation that is a lot better than some of the other figures. You know, not a whole lot of variations in poses, but you can get some decent ones that still makes the figure look, you know, like it's in a natural pose. Um, and the detail on this one is actually pretty nice as well. As you get really close, you can start to see that pebbly textured skin that, you know, you see a lot in like these old Kenner figures. Not so much on this Lost World one, but all the other Triceratops seem to share that texture or that skin pattern. Yeah, I'm really, it took me a while to actually buy this one because I just wasn't that interested in it at first, you know, because I wanted the main like popular like Indoraptor and the big carnivores and stuff, but I'm actually glad that I eventually picked this one up because it's a really decent figure and these ones sell, you know, if you buy it at like Walmart, it's only like 11 bucks and that's totally worth it for uh, something this cool. And I'm happy that they actually made a new Triceratops that in my opinion is um, you know, as good as the original one. Like I said, I'm always gonna like this one probably the best just because, you know, it's the original one and all that stuff. I'm biased towards Kenner, but uh, Mattel really did a good job on this one. Uh, I don't really have any complaints about it at all. Uh, it's got, you know, just the right amount of articulation. It's got a nice color pattern and it's got a lot of detail as well. And that's why I would say, you know, these two are definitely the best. Um, and maybe, you know, the Lost World one, I'd say, is probably third best. Anyways, that about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it interesting. Uh, let me know, you know, which one is your favorite down below. And I'm gonna guess it's, you know, between the Mattel and Kenner one, like, you know, as it is for me. But who knows, someone else, you know, might like the React Attack one more or the Lost World one more. It's all just a matter of opinion at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying um, the recent, you know, Jurassic Frontier videos. I also have something else in the works right now that I've been working on. And uh, I'll probably be releasing a sneak peek really soon for that. Let's just say it's uh, gonna be sort of like a battle video and it might just include the Predator in it. So if you like the Predator, uh, look forward to that video. I'm excited to show you guys. Yeah, as always, uh, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.